This is it in all of its brown glory. I have been requested to make this better. And I already have by putting that light in last night and getting ready for a fan. But the big job is all this. There was some random piece of wood in the way that took a ton of chipping. It wasn't a joist, but uh, it's in. I don't have a drain tool. I saw a guy on YouTube is this to make a couple of notches, ram in this and twist it out. Success. About two hours thereabouts. <coughs> it uh, it didn't want to come out. Not too bad. A little bit of mold over here. We'll get to that. But uh, otherwise, pretty good.
There's so many things could have gone wrong today and none of them did. So all the insulation came out because we found traces of uh, mice having a little party in here. So I think they were scooting from joist, joist cavity to joist cavity under the tub. That'll all be blocked off with uh, cement board and tile. The big mystery, getting the pipes out was easy enough. The big mystery was what I was going to find under the floor. Whether I'm blocked by a joist or something, there's always something. And today there was nothing. And it just looks super simple. Famous last words, but I said them. That's where my shower drain is going to be. X marks the spot. I mean, none of these are uh, adjustable, so I'm probably just going to cut here. Attach here and put in a... Put in a, a trap uh, under the pan. The pan comes out to... Where did I measure? Pan comes out to here. And then we'll just have a little bit of extra tile past the sliding glass door to cover up the lip. A little bit of trim. I'm a little bit scared. Because the bottom didn't fall out. Well, how about that? Measure, remeasure, imagine, reimagine. I'm losing my mind. I was not meant to be a designer in any respect. I think I've kind of got it. Maybe. Getting there. We have the uh, gasket on it, inch and a half pipe for the two inch drain. Looking pretty good. has been slow today. I thought I was going to be flying through this. However, lots of measuring, judging, depth. These, there's like three sixteenths of give either way for the uh, drop elbow for the uh, water supply. I uh, googled and YouTubed like crazy and there is literally zero videos of people explaining how to do this. So I was left with a very simple drawing saying, you've got three sixteenths from the finished wall. Don't mess it up. Okie doke, got it. I've done this once before uh, with, the, uh, with this. So I was reasonably comfortable with that. This, I'm flying blind, hoping for the best. Haven't hooked it up to the uh, the water supplies, and I won't be soon because there's no individual shutoffs, so I'm going to have to put the cartridge in and turn the water off before I do that. But hopefully tomorrow, I can cover the walls.
could not find a single video on YouTube on how these actually, I mean, it's obvious how it gets attached, but how to install it as for the finished tile surface. I mean, the only thing that I found is a single sentence in the installation guide. Uh, what was it? No more than 3 16 and no less than 1 16 from the finished wall that's not here yet. For a guy who doesn't tile all the time, this is a problem. So, lots of removing the board and putting the board back up and varying the amounts of tape <coughs> tape on the nipple, uh, pipe tape on the nipple. I've got it to the point where I'm confident that with, if I need to, I, I can just beef it up with a little bit extra tape to have it not recess into the wall too far, so far, and have it come back out. So I think I'm in that range, but my God, there was no easy way to figure it out. It was trial and error. And uh, one interesting, helpful comment that I did find online was, do not set this permanently in place before you're ready to attach this. Tape, tape this up on this end, tape it up on the, uh, the supply valve, uh, the supply hookup end, put them in together and they will tighten themselves and it gives you a, a greater leeway of how many turns you, you can get. You can actually get more turns because turning the outer piece will turn the inner piece. What a mess. I mean, it's confusing for somebody who doesn't do this every, well, every month, well, maybe like two tile projects a year. So, <clears throat> To be continued, and we'll see if it actually works out. End of weekend number two. First weekend, I think, hard to remember. I think I just uh, demoed and then started making plans for the plumbing, for mainly for the drain, and then I left it. And this weekend, yesterday, the uh, the pan went in. Uh, oh, sorry. Last weekend I did all the, the blocking and all the measurements, so just basically a lot of planning. And then yesterday being Saturday, I came in, put mortar in the pan, finished out the plan for all the plumbing, all the, the depth of the, the supply, elbow, and all the rest. And today I just uh, threw up all the den shield and sealed up all the edges. So I'm going to have to wait for all that uh, the caulking on, right on the, the joints to... to Harden a little bit, dry, so at least it's not tacky, and then I'll seal the uh, all the joints like the instructions say. I believe it's just mesh tape and uh, I think unmodified inset, but I'll double check that. So onwards.
final little bits of mosaic back of the niche other side gonna get put in today after that finish out the trim on the the niche do the bottom niche and then just start tidying up and getting ready for grout and figuring out how I'm going to caulk or trim the where it meets the ceiling. And then I've been told the door arrives. Uh, the door arrives this weekend, this coming weekend. Finally, getting close. Well, it's only been three weeks of weekends, basically. Still very, very hazy, but all the grout is in and it's got that first wipe off. And I'm just going to run outside and clean my tools and come back in and get back at it after it's sort of firmed up a little bit. Hard to tell, but kind of looks okay. I don't want to jinx it, but so far, so good. It slid right in. It's heavy as heck, but it slid right into the profile. It's against the shower base. Even the uh, the wall is, I mean, it's so level, plumb, that the uh, the profile just covers an equal amount right to the top. It's uh, something I stressed about, thinking that there's no way that the wall is going to end up being plumb, but yeah, it's plumb. Go figure. Onwards. Getting closer. Got the door on. There's a little bit of voodoo magic involving the, the level and the plumbness of this that made this want to be a little bit off center, but I think I've got it in place and I've got some silicone in there and it should be fine. 
the door without any adjustment meets the wall with a beautiful seal and it's actually got a wall channel to go on there anyway so I don't need to adjust that at all so the next step is put that channel there drill four more holes and then it's basically just attach the hardware and take a shower A little bit of silicone and three screws left securing the wall channel to the glass plate metal thingy. Otherwise, smooth like butter. Much stress and thinking has gone into how to mount this onto the tile wall and make this fit with only plus or minus a sixteenth give. So here we go. All the holes in the tile took exactly 10 cheap Amazon porcelain tile drill bits. I think they were about $12. A little over a buck a piece and I was getting about two holes per drill bit. So there's a bit of value there. And I'm done drilling all the holes. A couple there, a few there. And I just finished putting in the uh, the slide bar. All looks pretty sharp, actually. I'm quite happy. And this goes up to a full 80 inch shower head height. So far, pretty happy. Everything's gone reasonably smoothly in this last final stage. Now it's just a matter of a whole lot of caulking, cleaning, tidying up the gap at the ceiling, and then, uh, then I think we're done. <laughs>